Morning YouTube. Just doing a short video. Uh, on the absolute pure. Just doing a short video. Of. Uh, uh, oh. Tell you about that. The absolute hypocrisy of the Cartable KJV, Aaron Deering. Nearly all of those have been in a live stream with me, calling me brother. And just because I had a conversation with King's Table, I don't like it. The Lord rebuked them for their hypocrisy. And that's precisely what it is. I'm not going to send, put a link to uh, a Cartable KJB's latest rubbish. I've never been able to watch his videos. I don't watch them. I can't. Uh, I mean, he does a little sodomite wave over his King James Bible. He's going on about, uh, in the previous video that he did to the, his latest one. He can't make his mind up about the so-called Spirit of Antichrist test. Can't think of a better description for it, but uh, the only reason he thinks it can be faked is because, and this is the truth, this is something that... Uh, Brad Evanshine, or whatever he calls himself. Uh, his wife cannot make that confession. He says his wife is a Christian sister. He said so a number of times. And I asked him if his wife... Uh, and this was on Google Hangouts, that chat thing app that you can get from Google. She wasn't able to do so. That is a fact. I'm not lying about it. Ask him. If he denies it, he's a liar. It's as simple as that. And his video is not evidence of anything. Uh, I don't hate the guy. I don't think of it. I don't... Uh, I still believe that he is a Christian. Uh, as are the other brothers. I've got my doubts about Aaron Deering, who apologises for his false teaching rather than repenting. He got kicked in the teeth in the uh, in his Skype hierarchy, higher echelon conversation with the other so with the other brothers in uh, on there. I, don't, I, I could already guess as to who was on there. But he ends up in tears, making an apology, deletes his channel or hides it, and then he makes another video, which is fine, fine, it's up to him, he's got a right to do so. And I thought, oh no, we've got another Brian Denling uh, clone here, mimicking exactly what Brian does, which is fine, you know. Uh, that's up to him, as I say. Uh, it's false teaching, and the video of it is on my channel, that live stream, uh, where he denies, well, he, where he states that certain people are outside the possibility of getting saved. I pointed out that that's not true, that it's false. Uh, and all he could do again was apologise, rather than repent. Uh, if somebody's got can breathe and talk and they've got a pulse, in other words, they're alive, the human being, they have that possibility of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. They have the opportunity to receive the free gift of salvation and to act upon the gospel and to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ 
and to get born again like I did in 1992 which is another thing that I think uh, certain people resent they just don't believe that I've got no reason to lie about it uh, who are you that you think I should lie to you you know why should I lie about that I've got no reason to Brad going back to him if you watch that video I mean come on what is the point of spitting to illustrate a point and on a previous live stream he's calling me brother this brother that blah blah he has done when he's been on my live streams Alexander Hartley Aaron all of them that have been on there I'm able to confess uh, Jesus is the Lord and Jesus Christ is come in the flesh Jesus Christ is the Son of God he is God Jesus Christ is God I've no doubts about that uh, I haven't heard any of their testimonies by the way Brad's testimony uh, I mean he's always boasting about his past before he got saved by his sodomite past uh, you know I don't despise him for that uh, because he had a bad past I've got a bad past not in, not quite in the same way uh, he's always going on about it I'm sick of that and um, oh yeah I mean, he talks to me about his wife's personal problems as though it's a means of sort of inducting me or making me feel welcome into the sort of family of Bradley Evansheim. And he said to me, oh, Bob, come closer to your, mic your microphone. I've got to whisper this to you. Oh, my wife's going into hospital to get three rectal polyps removed. I thought, oh, Stro, why did I need to even hear that? Why is he sharing his personal stuff with me? What, what's that about? The utter hypocrisy of that latest video. I'm not worried about it. I don't really care. You can read the comments I made on there. I'll read them out. Cantable KJV only believes the Antichrist test can be faked because his so-called Christian wife cannot make that confession. He spits as a means of validation. I've never stated, God knows my heart, as an excuse or proof or evidence of anything. This whole situation is disgusting. I'm actually grateful that I now have a revelation of what those so-called brothers are like. I merely had a conversation with King's Table and Brian's disciples start behaving like childish girls. A cannibal KJB is really just a sodomite pest freak. Uh, he is Christian, I acknowledge that, but you know, Frankly, I'm sick of hearing about his sodomite past and history. He said to me on one occasion, this is in the last two weeks, I can't remember what date. He prefers older males as pastors. Well, as far as I'm concerned, good riddance to you all. I respect uh, you though, uh, Matthew, I was referring to him there, I should have put that in talking to King's Table but I am wondering why you deleted that video LMAO I don't follow or believe everything that King's Table says that day when King's, T King's Table first came in um, into the chat I had four 
Christian brothers just dive in and start calling him, calling him all sorts of uh, names, calling him a devil. One of them even so-called praying, if you can call it that, that he goes to hell. Where's that in scripture? Show me. The four of you just dive straight in as soon as you saw his um, message up on screen. I would have spoken to him that night and I, I was a bit... Uh, I wasn't sure what to do about that. And then we have uh, John Cragan, Aaron Deering from 16, uh, Absolute Twerp Ministry. I should have said Absolute Truth Ministry, so-called. What a ministry. And a liar and a hypocrite sucking up to Brad. And then Brad refers to him as my dearest sweet brother. Come on, I mean, what sort of way is that to address another male, another uh, another supposedly uh, Bible-believing Christian? Right, the racism, John Cragen, Aaron Deering, uh, Matthew, unfortunately, I was surprised at him, really. With their racist comments, going uh, totally uh, against... Uh, interracial marriage i've got no problem at all with a christian marrying another christian another king james bible believing christian marrying another king james bible believing christian and the other point i would make is uh, i'm not racist and um, i've never been married so therefore as well i'm not in a position to judge another person's marriage his motives whatever right i don't want any racism on my channel on my live stream uh, those people will never be allowed in a studio with me if i ever do if i ever bother to do a live stream again certainly not the people who have previously mentioned Yeah, Mr. Accountable KJV, beware of him, seriously. One minute he can treat me like a brother. And then... Next, uh, uh, he called me all the names he can think of, basically. And this clown. And maybe I shouldn't use that, that word. This clown accountable KJB. He mentions a book called Trivium. If you want a link to the actual book that I got. I will get I'll put that in the thingy. But Brad, which is fine. Problem is, it was written by Roman Cross, is that. He even did a video of it. I never recommended that book to him. I told him about it. That's what I got. All I can say. I'm disgusted with whatever you want to say, apparently. And uh, I'm not impressed. Hidden that video, sorry body finding out about standing of what it is he's hiding and it, yep don't come anywhere near my channel i've made it clear what i think 
I know it's not going to be taking any notice of. That's fine. You're all blocked. Apart from one or two of you who haven't commented on uh, hypocrite. Uh, that Catholic uh, uh, is late is video Brad Snake, I should call him really. I'm Honestly, the whole video, I mean, it's just pure hypocrisy and nastiness. Some of those so-called brothers referring to me as a Jesuit. <laughs> They're paranoid. You know. Well, and I... Yeah. Well, I don't think... I'm, I'm, in response to this video, I'm not even bothered about it. I'm just letting you know what's true. The sycophantic behaviour between the Hartley, Aaron Deering, and as Brad would say, my dearest sweet brother. He prefers older men as pastors. Wow. I, you know, you know, from at the end of the stream, I'm sure I could think of all sorts of other things to say. Uh, but oh, 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 honestly, I'm just lost for words at the two facedness of it, the hypocrisy, the evil. Brad Snake, Bradley, and you, Q, Satan, for your life. Those of those people in there who are basically praising you for your video. Oh, we didn't know. Why didn't Bob spend his time uh, rebuking King's Table? Well, how would the conversation go if I had have done it? But I just spent the whole time rebuking him on stuff. Right. Where would that conversation go? Nowhere. At least Matthew had the guts, if you can call it that. I mean, I'm not 100% sure what his motive were. At least he spoke to King's Table, had a conversation with, with him, and then he did the video. <laughs> did the video. Right. Uh, but I do respect the fact that he did, you know. Uh, um, but I only had a conversation conversation with, with, with King's Table, we talked about various stuff and then he did an ex, uh, an ex Brad's latest video, wow how ridiculous on YouTube, I mean I made quite a few comments, uh, but once the group mentality kicks in, uh, you have really no chance, I really think that, I knew, oh you know, I shouldn't have bothered commenting. Should have left them in in their cesspit. Let them encourage each other of the lies. I still regard them as Christian, but not the sort of Christians and Christian brothers, you know. Well, uh, not Christian brothers that that I would want anything to deal with again um, 
on somebody's treating me like that in that fashion uh no i mean the situation couldn't be trusted i couldn't trust them and i don't need to trust them my faith is in jesus christ my trust is in the gospel of jesus christ and i've never used the heart foundation of anything that phrase not, uh, has i don't think that i've ever used it. i'm not sure i have no i don't think i have i'm sure i would know but anyway if you're gonna have fellowship with if you can call it that with, with uh, brad's little crew brian denlinger's crew be very careful i'm not saying that out of nastiness some of them are uh, excellent brothers but they haven't uh, got to be honest none of them sort of spoke up for me and i wouldn't ask them to but you know if somebody's saying talking lies about another brother and brad hasn't spoken to me about this He hasn't said a thing to me. He didn't apply Matthew 18, which he should have done. He should. Have, he, he had the opportunity to speak to me privately. After his latest video, I did try to message him. I tried to message him Monday on Google uh, Google Chat thingy that app. Been Sunday night, and I was blocked. Which in I mean, I had a stream. I mean, in the next, so last, the video before the latest or something. He says, I had a word from the Lord about some, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, I can't remember. Once somebody says that to you, it's a conversation blocker. Somebody tells you that they've had a word of knowledge from the Lord, you know, they've been praying, and, you know, God can do that. He can have, give you a wisdom and understanding of stuff. An insight, things like that. But once somebody comes out with that and you contradict it, uh, hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, you know, which I, I haven't done that. I mean, we want to say things like that. I would be very careful about saying something like that. But I can tell you that spitting in a mop bucket and all that and that sodomite waving at the beginning of his videos over his Bible, over his King James Bible, hi hi spitting and his videos i certainly wouldn't watch uh and every every five second your okie doke videos all this is in public really i was discussing this with a brother yesterday and the day before i think this is public as well but it's a public rebuke really yeah uh, Anyway, so much for uh, fellowship online. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could mention one or two other br brothers. But I haven't. I have emailed them. I gave me testimony. Uh, uh, that was just completely ignored. 
That's okay. John Cragen left you out, didn't I? Excellent, brother. Great. About 10 YouTube channels about what's what. Some of them aren't. Oh, I don't know. He said he's never doubted me salvation. Problem is, John, after that video with, with, with Matthew Landau and King's Table, I only caught the last 10 minutes, I think. You acknowledged King t King's Table as a Christian and the brother in Christ. And then, lo and behold, what happens? Brian Denlinger does another video. And then he went back to King's Table and told him, you know, oh, oh no, you're not saved, no, no, blah, blah, blah. Goodbye. Wow. All it takes is for Brian Denlinger, and I'm not disrespecting him personally, he's not to blame. All it takes is a video from Brian Denlinger, and you can go from being, uh, phew, they respond to someone on the internet. Who else would have steered clear from? Anybody who's made it, I mean, uh, no, that's up to you. I mean, I'm not bothered. All of those people, as far as I'm, I know, a block from coming like, near my channel and I know that they wouldn't do that's fine more than happy that they stay away because my attitude at the moment is I don't want to speak to them it's that simple so well, I'm going to admit nothing more to say And as oh yeah, just one more thing. Not that I actually really expected anybody to. I don't know. Not stick caught for me. But to defend a brother that's been falsely accused, being treated wrongly, in an ungodly fashion, and why haven't you said something? Oh dear, how did I go to a brother Christian who I'm with, and they were rude and nasty about him? Right, and I would say something, but no, silence. I do respect Brian Denling, by the way, as a brother. He is a Christian, no doubt. I just wish he'd make his mind up, really. Not that I need him to make his mind up before mine's made up. It's written. It's God's word. That's it. Done. Dusted. Right. I love God. Being a Christian is a, a life of daily repentance. Uh, being in obedience to God's word, walking in the spirit, of course. Good thing to say, I'm not perfect, that's why I needed Jesus, and I still do need Jesus to make a mess of my life when I got saved. I have to do this, that, and the other, and then just wait for this to create to wind me up to God. That God was there, another life there. He witnessed the gospel of Jesus Christ to me. In a very profound way, he made it really clear 
Uh, I was using an NIV initially, but that didn't last long. Once Gordon started mentioning the King James Bible to me, I think I got a King James Bible within a week of me getting saved. <coughs> I couldn't put that book down. I still have King James Bible. I only use that. I am born again Christian. But, you know, who? Oh. How do I prove that to these people? I have no intention of doing so. I wouldn't even try. Yeah. If it wasn't for Jesus Christ, I would still be in prison. I know that. Yeah. If they're what you call brothers, tell me, don't message me. That's it. I hold no. I think I might pay for them. Beloso first. So there's the upshot. Because I didn't spend me time rebuking King's Table. Uh, my name is cast out like so much rubbish. Wow. And with people that have known me over the last two years. Brad the internet pest I have told another brother I said to him over a year ago and this is why I've deleted a lot of my channels because that individual kept turning up and I would delete me channel and come back somewhere else a couple of weeks or so later and he would find me again I praise God that it's just weird that with his wife she's not able to make well, she's going into the hospital with this ball I prefer older men as preachers. I mean, do I need to hear any of that from, from a so-called Bible-believing Christian? Aaron Deering, weep, 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 weep. Apologies, blah, blah, weep, weep. They treated me like poop in, in the higher echelon Skype chat, blah, blah. Weep, weep, weep. Apologise rather than repent. And your false teaching as well, which was already mentioned. And your racism. Uh, you know. 